Hi guys, back again. Apologies for missing Tuesday, so I'm back on Thursday. One of the questions we get asked often is, and one of those questions that people are often afraid to ask are, what are calories, what are carbs, what are fats, and what are protein, and what the hell is all this about? I don't understand my food. I don't know what any of these things mean. One person tells me don't do this, another person says do this. What does it all mean? How do these things add up? Okay, so what I'm gonna to say today is gonna to be quite much simplified. Someone can easily take one of the points I'm gonna make and turn it and turn it with five different surveys and try to confuse you, but the crux of it is gonna be fairly on point. First thing is, nobody knows 100% what happens in our body and anyone who tells you they do is lying. Medical science is not that advanced, general science. However, we do know an awful lot and we have some knowledge based on that. It's the same with airplanes. We don't know why airplanes fly. You might think I'm joking about that, Google it. Nonetheless, so the main things we're gonna talk about are calories, fats, carbs, proteins. So what are calories? Calories are a unit of energy, okay? So maybe it's not the most accurate unit of energy we can use, it is the one we have to hand. Your body needs a certain amount of calories to work every day. We'll call that, it's like petrol. It needs fuel, okay? If you take too much of it, if you take too many calories in, your body has all this extra energy, all this extra fuel, and it decides, I'm gonna keep this around for when I don't have fuel. That is what your fat is, basically. So, if you take in too much calories, if you take in too much fuel, you're gonna hold on to it. You're gonna keep it in storage, okay? So that's the basics with the calories. Now, you will hear little things about, there's a starvation mode, there's this, there's, someone has a different metabolism and all this kind of thing. The big thing we need to focus on nowadays is calorie deficit because energy as a physical quantity, I think it's the second law of thermodynamics, cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only be turned from one to another. Your body takes in this energy, burns it off. If you don't have the energy, your body is still burning energy. Okay, so if you don't eat, you're gonna lose weight. Pretty much everyone knows if you don't eat for a week, nothing, zero, you'll lose weight. That's a pretty obvious thing. People can starve to death. Doesn't matter what medical condition you have. So it's just a case of finding the balance. So that's what calories are. They're just a number of energy. Now, the fuel that goes into our body is made of three main components. These are called macronutrients. There's obviously all little things. There's micronutrients. Alcohol will kind of leave separate, but we're gonna talk about the three big things. They're called macronutrients, big. They make up the big parts of your diet. This is what's gonna to help to run your body. So. The first one that we like to talk a lot about, which is very important, is protein. So protein is very useful for rebuilding your muscles and helping you recover by rebuilding your muscles, okay? Very good for keeping muscle tone and keeping shape. As regards to rebuilding muscles, if you have like an open incision in a hospital after a surgery, which happens with some very specific surgeries, one of the things that will be prescribed is actually protein shakes to give the body the fuel to rebuild that muscle. When you train or when you do exercise, what you are actually doing is breaking down your muscle and the body has to rebuild it. Protein is one of the things that's going to help you do that. Where do we get protein? We will get it frequently in our eggs, our meats, our fish. We can use protein supplementation. There are a lot of lentils and beans and quinoa do also have protein. Now, like I said earlier, Food is a fuel, and all these fuels have every component in them. So yes, there will be trace carbohydrates in eggs. There will be trace um, fats in a lot of other things. But as a key protein source, we like to think of meat, fish, eggs. Whilst nuts contain protein, they also contain a lot of fat. So they're not usually a good protein resource. And protein is fairly nice and modest on the calories. Every gram of protein will give you approximately four calories to run your body, right? 
The next one then are carbohydrates. So carbohydrates are frequently like they're the energy source. They break down into sugars. So one of the things is glycogen helps to run your muscles in your body and your fat stores will primarily, they'll come more, they're not gonna come more from carbohydrates, but they are an energy store is your carbohydrates. You have two types of carbohydrates and you've probably heard this before. You have simple carbohydrates and you have complex carbohydrates. Now, it's not to say that complex tar carbohydrates consider philosophy and so on. Complex carbohydrates take a little longer for the body to break down. So, they give you energy, the release of energy will be slower and more constant with a complex carbohydrate. So, complex carbohydrates would include rice, potatoes, pastas, breads. You will eat these and you will generally feel the energy release slower over a longer period of time. Okay? Simple carbohydrates are the fun ones. Simple carbohydrates is when you talk about sugar. So anything with chocolate, ice cream, and such other things are simple carbohydrates. You eat these, you get a spike of energy, and then you spike down just as fast. They don't have more calories per gram than the others, but you will burn through that energy faster and when you feel that energy drop off, you're going to be hungrier again. So those are your simple carbohydrates. Now, the important thing to know is that carbohydrates are an energy source, so you do need them in some form in your body, okay? You'll often see athletes, runners who are going for long marathons or something like this, the day before they will preload their carbohydrates. They will eat a lot of carbohydrate, carbohydrate rich foods in order to have that energy in their system. So carbohydrates are energy. This is also linked into if you find yourself snacking on sugary stuff late at night. One of the reasons for this is frequently because you've been up quite a long time, your body is tired, and when your body is tired, it wants energy. And to your body, sugar is energy, which is why you'll often find you will crave chocolates and sweets when you have your three o'clock slump at work, when it is eight o'clock in the evening, and you're trying to stay up to watch that other episode of a show, but you had your dinner three hours ago, but you just feel like you want something sweet. A lot of the times that's your brain saying, hey buddy, you're a bit tired, you were watching TV and you wanna stay up for another hour, let's eat some chocolate, that'll help us. So that's what simple carbohydrates are very tricky. Carbohydrates actually do have the same calories as protein, however, they don't fill you up as much. So the risk of overeating them is quite high. We all know about carbs, the breads, being the, the one everyone picks on. It's not that bread is bad for you, it's just easy to eat a lot of it. And the third one then are fats. So fats you will get, uh, oh yeah, we said where we get our carbohydrates. Fats are important. You need them for your general hormones. You need them to keep your body running. They're important for brain function. We all hear about fish oil. We all hear about we should eat fish. One of the reasons for that is the fat in the fish is very important for brain function. Omega-3s and omega-6s and all these kinds of things. So you do need fat in your body, okay? Where we normally get fat, we don't usually worry too much about fat because trust me, it's there. You will get it in your well, you get it in your oils, you get it in your butters, you will get it in your nuts, okay? Now, we want a balance of all these things. That's what's gonna help our body grow. Well, I should say as well, fat has double the calories of carbohydrates. So fat has about nine calories a gram. And that leads us to another interesting point. When you start swapping things around, it pays to be aware of the full picture. And a very specific example I'm going to give is a simple muffin. If you take a simple muffin, a muffin is made with flour. And flour is carbohydrate based and will be in the ballpark of four calories per gram. Okay, so that's your regular muffin. Now, a lot of people in recent years have found paleo is a very popular thing and think carbs are the enemy. Now, you can get yourself a paleo muffin. The problem with a paleo muffin is frequently it uses something like a nut flour or an almond flour. Now, a lot of those calories are coming from fat, so suddenly we've gone from one portion of the muffin, which was four calories a gram, to something that has double. 
So frequently, if you make a like-for-like -like recipe of a regular muffin and a, pro and a protein paleo muffin with nut flour, that paleo muffin is going to have more calories. Now, health is a separate issue to what we're talking about right now. I'm talking from a weight loss context. It doesn't matter how healthy your food is. If you are eating too much food, if you're eating too much fuel that your body is burning in a day, you will put on weight. You definitely won't lose it. Okay, so be careful when you swap things around. And then there's some foods that kind of straddle a lot of boundaries. Like dairy, whilst it does have protein, also has a lot of fat. Nuts are another example. Has some protein, also has a lot of fat. So just because something is high in protein, also be aware it could have other things that pull you further away. So all of these things are in balance. What we frequently see with a lot of people is they don't eat enough protein and they overeat on carbohydrates. We all know it. And of course the worst combination, if you want to lose weight, the worst combination of is a carb in a fat. So that would be bread with butter, crisps, which are potatoes fried in oil. Things like this, very bad ideas for losing fat. And the same with um, chocolate, sugar and fat. Does the combination there. Meat on its own, usually pretty good. Meat covered in breadcrumbs, covered in fat, not a good choice. Because the breadcrumbs are your carbs and then your fat on top of it. So you have triple whammy there. So it's a case of picking the ones that are gonna fit you. So that's the basics of it, is like, None of these things are wrong. It's about having the right level. Now we might do a little more in the next week where we talk a bit more about setting a calorie goal, setting a protein goal, and how would we use that. But the basics I wanted to cover today is what is a carb, what is a fat, and what is protein. So that's what they are. Three main components of your diet. They're in almost everything you eat in massively different quantities. You would generally want to focus on having a little less of those carbs which are very tasty and easy to eat a lot of, and a little more than meat, which usually doesn't fill you up as much. Okay, so, best of luck guys. I hope you got something from that, and we'll catch up again next week.